Glad to have y'all in here chilling with me. What's going on with the fam? I'm doing the late night tap in. Waiting on everybody to pop on up. Hope you guys had a great week or you're having a great week so far. It's almost the end of the week. We're almost at that weekend, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do what we do. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Root Work Deodorant, ladies and gentlemen. Get that Root Work Deodorant at rootworkstyle.com, ladies and gentlemen. Rootworkstyle.com. And everybody give me a nice retweet. Retweet the broadcast. Let everybody know that we're live right now. A lot of things we're going to touch on on this evening. And don't forget the new microphone check, the remix of right microphone check, the uncolonized version will be out next week. So you guys want to cop that new version of microphone check. And um, you can get that at microphonecheck.com or you can pre-order on amazon.com, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how many folks we got in the room? We should have. Yep, we, we usually get a couple hundred people in immediately, and there we are. Shout out to a lot of the regulars that's in here so far, waiting on everybody to pile on in here. Um, a lot of things we're going to touch on. First thing, um, the Kamala rallies are still going around the country. Um, one thing that people are pointing out, with the Kamala rallies, because what they're doing now, they're trying to really pump Kamala up. And the, the advantage she has is that the, the liberal media is really, really trying to blow her up. And they're comparing her crowd with Trump's crowd. And what they're doing, they're not telling people that Kamala Harris basically is having concerts and then she's speaking at the concerts. Like she just did something, I think, right in Michigan. And basically, it was a performance by a dude, um, Bon Iver, a band, Bon Iver, some kind of white band that I think they're from Michigan. So they performed. It was really a concert for them. And basically, she spoke. So they're kind of leaving that out, just like in Atlanta. Basically, that was a Megan the Stallion concert. And she spoke at a Megan the Stallion concert. You, you know what I'm saying? And they were saying, I heard some people saying that they were getting homeless people to, to fill up those seats and just a lot of stuff. But they're really, really going out of their way to inflate her numbers and give the perception of her getting a lot of influence. And there was a situation, I think, in the Detroit lecture she did, the rally she did, where there were some, was it some pro-Gaza people? So was some Gaza people in there yelling and heckling, and then she shouted them down and Kamala, if you notice, she's talking with this FBA accent now. She's really trying to play up this FBA accent and doing the sister girl thing. And she told them, if y'all going to vote for Trump, just do that. And then the, the DNC got all their Democratic shills to sit up here and post stuff about, ooh, she sound like a black mama. Ooh, that's how my black mama be sounding. Y'all Negroes are so cringy and corny. Y'all are cringy and damn corny as hell. Just even saying that because she yelled at somebody, ooh, they got black side coming out. Now, she better throw some Punjabi rice at their ass. Let that East Indian come out. She better run over them with her Uber. Let the, let the Hindu come out. Stop trying to act like this woman has some kind of FBA lineage that she don't. Let's stop all that. Y'all are corny as hell. It's all cosplaying, and it's insulting. And, again, Kamala is really talking with this FBA accent. We is going to beat Trump in November. <clears throat> we sure is going to beat him in November. Oh, God, it's cringy as hell. Speaking of Gaza, yeah, have y'all noticed APAC? They're... They're getting these black politicians ousted. The, the Cori Bush, um, APAC, got her ousted from her position because she was doing the pro-Palestine thing. Jamal Bowman, they got him out because he was on that pro-Palestine thing. 
I was, that's why I was saying black folks, man, don't even get into that thing. That's not the hill you want to die on politically. You're out here stomping and representing these other people who ain't doing nothing to save you once your political career goes in the tank. These people are sitting up here, these black folks, putting their political careers on the line for these people ain't really stomping for them. And then when you get the backlash for it, nobody's there to help you. That's insane. That's why we've been telling people, stay out of that Gaza stuff. Because they've been trying to drag us into that. They're always trying to drag us into that Gaza thing. And we're like, we're cool. Because all they want to do is use us as punching bags. They want to get us involved so that they can attack us. Because when you have non-black groups attacking each other, that's not the business. You got to get a black person there. You got to get a black person to beat up on. You always have to redirect focus. So it's best that we stay out of that whole thing. And some of these people are learning the hard way. But um, with the Democrats, I posted this meme that's going around. And these people got this habit of talking to black people insane. Another thing that they do, and, and before I get into the meme, there was a story on the news talking about how these democratic um, companies, these online companies or these um, marketing companies are hiring paid shills, which is what we've been saying. And there was an article on it. I, I'll play it on my broadcast when I go live on my main show. But they got people that they're admitting that they're hiring to spew these Democratic talking points. Spew these talking points about Project 25. Spew these talking points about this, that. So there are these influencers, quote unquote, admitting and showing the emails where these companies are paying them between three and $10,000 to sit here and boost these messages for the Democrats. Some people are saying, well, the Republicans are doing it too, but here's the problem. The Democrats are using these people and usually black influencers, quote unquote, to target other black people. They're, to, they're put out here to target us, to curse us out and shame us and name call us and berate us if we ask about the policies that the Democrats have that's harming us. If we speak out against their policies, they got a whole cache of Democratic shills sent out here to just start browbeating us and cursing at us and talking crazy. And you guys have seen it. Whenever you're online and you get into a space and you have anything critical about the Democrats, or if you ask any questions about the Democrats, it's always some fool with some weird account. Why don't you shut up and leave Kamala alone? Y'all sound like Trump supporters. Is y'all getting paid by Trump? Y'all sound like MAGA. Just shut up and vote. Y'all hating on the black woman. We hear the same rearranged talking points over and over. These are the talking points. It's going to be a different variation of y'all sound like MAGA. Whenever you hear that, that's a paid Democratic shield. Anytime you hear y'all sound like MAGA, you sound like Trump supporters, that's paid Democratic shield talk. That's a shaming tactic. Another one, y'all just hating on the black woman. Why don't y'all support black women? Y'all just don't want to see black women win. That's another shaming tactic. That's another point. Another one is... Y'all gonna let the Republicans bring in Project 2025. It's a dictatorship. And he, that's Democratic shield talk. And the main one, the FBA, because now we're delineating, that sounds like a cult. Y'all's a cult. That's a hate group. Y'all a cult and a hate group. When y'all hear that, that's more Democratic shield talk. These are Democratic shields. Because this whole thing where we're just one big Negro and everybody gets to crawl under the banner of blackness. No, we're saying as foundational black Americans, that's not what it's going to be. We are foundational black Americans, not just black, foundational black Americans. We have a unique lineage that's different from Kamala Harris, from Barack Obama to Jean-Pierre, that woman. Our lineage is different from him, her, Stephen A. Smith, 
we have a different lineage. We are foundational black Americans. Y'all not like us. We are not one big Negro. We are not all the same. We have a different energy spirit, um, aura, essence, disposition than a lot of these people. And we stand on a different kind of business than they do. So I don't give a damn how much they try to sister girl Kamala Harris up. She's not of our lineage. She doesn't have the energy we have. She comes from a fleeing, tethered bed wench energy. Um, her family runs all over the place. They didn't fled from all over the place. She got her a zaddy. Uh, that's that's not really our energy. We ain't fleeing all over the place just to lay up with different exotic zaddies. That's not our energy. That is not our energy. And you're not going to sister girl your way into the game with that. But another thing that they're doing, the Democrats put out this little memo. They gave these talking points and they basically commissioned some of their shields to put this out to try to keep their hands clean because this woman on Twitter put this information out, put out these memes, and she's pretending that she did it independently. But these are clearly very strategic talking points coming from the Democrats. And the way it's worded, it sounds like how Roland talks to us. Um, I think my brother Black Alpha had um, a whole bunch of clips of Roland cursing us out, cursing black people out. And that's a strategy of the Democrats to send their minions out to curse us out and shame us and talk at us. That's a thing with them. They feel like if they talk to us with dignity and respect, that means we're going to want stuff. So they got to come out there and yell and point fingers and talk to us like slaves and send their Negro minions to do it. That's why every time Roland is out here, y'all give me y'all dumb as hell, give me y'all stupid ass, give me y'all stupid as hell, give me y'all better get out there and vote with y'all stupid ass. It's always that. So there's this meme that they put out, and clearly the Democrats are behind it. Just like when they did that get your booty to the poll, that derogatory campaign thing that they did a few years ago. And then the Democrats act like they didn't have anything to do with it. Well, that, that wasn't us. That was an independent company. That, that was a company. We didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, it's a company that y'all paid. Yeah, it was an independent company that y'all didn't slip some money to. So they try to play this um, throw the rock and hide the hand game. But it's them behind this stuff. So this woman put up this, this meme with a whole bunch of these Democratic talking points. And the meme starts off, it's a graphic, things you niggas need to know before you vote. All right. That's how it starts off. Number one, Trump did not give you $1,200. The stimulus checks distributed in the United States during the COVID pandemic were authorized by legislation passed by Congress and signed to law by then President Trump. While President Trump signed the legislation into law, it was Congress that drafted, debated, and passed these bills, making the checks a result of a legislative action and executive approval rather than a unilateral action by the president. Family, this ain't no independent person who wrote this. This is from the DNC. This is clearly from the DNC. And basically, yeah, Trump did give it. They, that was a long way. They're trying to say, well, it was Congress. Well, it was under Trump. You see? The next meme, um, number two, Kamala Harris is in fact black. Honestly, I'm not even sure why this matters to so many of you. Kamala Harris identifies as black. She is of mixed heritage with a mother from India and a father from Jamaica. Her father, Donald Harris, is of Afro-Jamaican descent. There's no proof of that. There's no proof of that. He's never identified as Afro-Jamaican. See, they, they try to throw these little trick words in here. This man has never identified as no damn Afro-Jamaican. That man's background is very, very mysterious, but I'll read on. It says... Donald Harris is of Afro-Jamaican descent, which contributes to her Black identity. I, additionally, she's often spoke about her pride and her diverse heritage and how it has shaped her identity and perspective. Yes, yeah, she talks about how being an Indian, an East Indian, shapes her perspective. On my broadcast the other day, I played the whole segment on CNN where she talked about her Indian family and going to India and walking with her Indian granddad and how that shaped her. Yeah, she's a 
East Indian. She's a Hindu bedwench. All right. Um, point number three, your vote does matter. The popular vote influences the U.S. Electoral College by determining the winner in each state. Most states use a winner-take-all system where the candidate with the most votes gets all the state's electoral votes. This makes an overall popular vote important but not decisive as the Electoral College decides the presidency. Candidates focus on swing states to secure the necessary 270 electoral votes to win. And on the bottom... She has an anecdote. Even if your vote didn't matter, it doesn't hurt to use your voice anyway. Um, yeah, our voices and our votes matter. This is why we're being strategic with it. And we're not just going to give it to disrespectful Democratic candidates. We're using our vote and we're going to be strategic with it. And they're not going to shame us into voting for nothing. And the other two, the last two, number four. Kamala Harris did not lock up thousands of black men during Harris's tenure as California Attorney General from 2011 to 2017. Over 1,900 people were admitted to state prisons for marijuana-related charges, but cannabis-related cases in California are prosecuted by district attorneys in individual counties, not attorney generals. This is splaining. She put a lot of folks in jail. This is them trying to splain and talk in circles and use semantics. This is them trying to use semantics. Bottom line, Kamala Harris was getting folks locked up with her policies. Um, she was getting black women locked up, and there's video of her cackling about it. There's video of her doing an evil, sinister laugh about um, punishing parents for truancy. And then when you look at the arrest in the media, it was black women who were getting thrown in jail for that because of Kamala Harris's policies. So you're not going to explain your way with that one. See, and the last one, Agenda 47 is not for your black ass. This is the words in this thing. Trump's Agenda 47, this is the new Project 2025, because they haven't gotten the right traction off Project 2025, so now they're going to go for this Agenda 47. It says, this poses serious risk to the black community and the minority community. It plans to cut funding for schools teaching critical race theory and eliminate diversity programs, reducing support for students of color. The agenda aims to implement more aggressive policing measures, in, in, including reintroducing stop and frisk practices, which disproportionately target black and minority individuals. <sighs> Number one, we're already getting targeted with that now. We're already getting targeted with that now under the Democrats. They're not really doing anything about nothing. Also, the whole thing about eliminating diversity programs under Trump. Let me tell y'all something. They're doing that now. These diversity programs, these things don't benefit us, black people. These diversity minority programs, they're for everybody except us. I'm telling you from experience a lot of black businesses under the Democrats are suffering, especially those of us in the education realm. Because we have a museum and that's an education center. We do a lot of things for the community. We don't get none of the funding that's earmarked specifically for us and other black entities. Because what they do, they put it under the banner of minority and diversity programs. And that money that's earmarked in the billions of dollars that's supposed to help us, it goes to white LGBT, Hispanic, all of these other minority groups. And that's under the Democrats. And I'm telling you from experience, family, this is why I ain't rocking with the Democrats because what they do, and y'all saw out here in California, the those um, anti-black white Hispanics sitting behind closed doors, plotting against the black community out here. That's very real. That's extremely real. What they do, they put tethers and immigrants and all these groups into certain positions where resources are concerned and controlled, and they make sure those resources that are earmarked for quote-unquote minorities and diversity programs, they make sure they do not go to us. They make sure they don't. So when we go to get these grants, and things that's for these education centers, there's not nothing in there for us. We don't get a dime. 
and we have to get it out the mud and that harms us. And that's from the damn Democrats. The Democrats do that stuff. They're not going to sit here and uh, point the finger at Trump and, oh, they're going to stop all the diversity program. Oh, the black money is going to be gone. It's gone now. All right. And the Democrats have made sure that it's gone. We don't get nothing from some of these grants. Everybody and their mama get all of these minority benefits and programs. All of these people get it except us. That's one of the reasons why I am so cool on the damn Democrats. They are trash, trash, trash. And there's no reason why we really should be supporting them at this point. This whole thing where we're going to be like loyal pets, that's ridiculous. And we should have charged that to the game a long time ago. Um, let's get... um. HT the goat, hop in because you've been trying to get in for a second. HT the goat, hop in, man. Well, unmute your microphone, brother. I'm good, man. How you doing, brother? Good. I heard uh, you're talking about uh, Kamala Harris, and I heard that you know she's married to Jew, and that you're married to a Jew. I am. Are you? No, where'd you hear that? I've heard it through multiple sources, and you also uh, shot a guy in the '90s and went to the feds. I did. I don't know. Did you? What year? What year did I shoot somebody in the '90s? Because there's all I'm, types of street. Um, I don't know. Things. It's just weird that you cover up for Jews and you pull this race baiting thing on the Jews. Hold on, wait, wait. Let's go back to the shooting. Hold on. Which? Come on, come on, come on. Because you just. That's what so I heard. Did you? Did you deliberately lie? Because you just changed. That's a heavy thing to accuse. No, someone about. put it in the comments. I just read oh, it. But, I don't but, know if it's but, true. But then why did you change the subject? If I shot somebody, well, that's something that's you, more important. No, 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 no. Because then, so that means you know you're just lying and trolling. Because the Jew thing's more important to me. I don't care. But but damn, if you make you're an accusation, black but, black but, black but, you're, but you're making an accusation like that. So that means you know you were full of crap. All right? But just be full of crap in good faith. All right? Don't say nothing that you know ain't true. I don't mind the trolling. Are you married to a Jew? But you know, you got Google. If I was now, what if I was? What if I was married to a a, a Jew with a big ass? What was well, I? What would, what would be that? like Kamala selling out like all these all these presidents? Now, how was that a sellout? Now, if I was married to a big booty Jew, well, how would that be a sellout? Because the Jews uh, are subverting the whole entire world right now. But how would that be a sellout if I'm banging one? Because you should be with your own people, you race trader. But you're a white supremacist, and you're not with a white with woman. white women, bro. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, the white women are bobbing on soul poles. They don't want you white That's supremacists. So, no, 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 no. You guys usually go for Asians. You white supremacists usually go for the Asian women because the white women are bobbing on too much soul pole for you. The you white women are muting me, but I'll debate no, 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 you. No, 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 because you're not going to troll. We're going to slow down. Are you, is that what you're really upset about, sir? Because that we know that you came in trolling and lying. And all of that is always a smokescreen. Let's talk like a man. Are you upset I'm because sure. the white women are... No, calm down. Are you upset because the white women are bobbing on soul poles right it's now? It's Jewish, actually. Is that what it is? The white women are bobbing on them soul poles? See, that doesn't seem... I don't date mud sharks. So it doesn't but bother but me. Ah, a lot of the white women are mud sharks. Look, I got a secret for you. Damn near all of them then had a piece of the soul pole at one Check point. Check this out. Have you they heard just, they, listen, they just don't tell you about it, sir. They they lie to you or say that they got drugged or something. But yeah, they, they all got a hankering for it. But go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Have you heard of the racial plan for the 20th century by Israel? No, no, what is that? What's the racial plan? Here it is. It was written by Jewish communists, right, in 1912. And it goes like this. What's his name? Uh, Israel Cohen, 1912 Jewish Congress. Yeah, that's that's a hoax. Yeah, the Israel Cohen thing is no, a hoax. No, it's not. It is. He that's never not. wrote that. That's a hoax. That's a white supremacy. Let's see what the audience... Let, oh, it's a white supremacy thing, even though... Yeah, that's a white, white supremacy. That's, yeah. that's a white supremacist hoax. That's a white supremacist hoax, sir. So you... you, I mean, you're, you, it's not beneath you, you to lie. Listen, that, it's not beneath... You lied on me. You came in and told two lies on me. I so asked you Listen, no, no, listen. You you lied on me. You accused me of murder and being with a Jewish person. Okay, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Go ahead. Damn, I hate okay. my phone is ringing. So Go let's. Ahead. Okay, so you're you know what the Kalergi plan is? What is that? The miscegenation of the white race. <sighs> Do you know what miscegenation okay. means? 
I know what it means. What does it mean? It's supposed to be race mixing. I know. Okay. So here we go. Is so you don't think what, who runs BlackRock? Who runs? Okay, you're all over the place, man. Listen, listen. You're okay. Listen. Let's stop with all of this anecdotal trolling. This conspiracy. This, no, 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 no. Listen. You have a listen. Tell route. the truth. Let's stop dancing around it. This is why you white supremacists. You need to be honest. Just be honest about your fear. You have a fear of genetic annihilation. You feel like your genetics are failing you and you're going to be extinct. That's no, what this no, is. I'm about. not a victim That's like that. you. No, no. This, you are a victim. You're talking about race mixing. Kids. No, no, no. You're talking about race mixing and miscegenation. It's That's both. fear. It's bad for both. No, it's not bad for us because the black genes are dominant, sir. It's oh, all going to be black. Traitor. No, how so, sir? You're just projecting. No, because that's what that's like. Like you should be proud to be like with your own black woman, but the fact that you want to go, like you think it's prestigious to have a white woman. That's how brainwashed you are by Jews. That's you projecting. I guarantee your audience would tell you the same thing. That's you black. projecting. Nobody said anything about getting a white black woman. nationalist. No black nationalist ever. Nobody promoted. said anything about getting a white woman. I don't want a white woman. That's you projecting. So you can't even get a white woman. The white women don't want you. They with the brothers. Yeah, it's documented. Like my my white woman got fired from her job for me talking about the Jews. What the fuck? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even believe you got a white woman. I believe you got an Asian woman. And the thing is, you got you white supremacists. You're upset about your failing genetics. That has nothing to do with us. Why do you always think that it's us that's causing your genetics to fail? I'm upset with gatekeepers like you that keep the black community down with doing. What is okay? Community. What does that have to do with you? You're not a part of the black community. Well, so I'm what does that have to do? You're an Uncle Tom. No, you are a white supremacist. That's right, Hal Hitler. Yeah, um, but your genes are struggling, so you're sitting up there hailing I'm Hitler. Hitlerian. No, no, no. You're 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 in a trailer park talking about hail Hitler. How's that working for you? I guarantee I'm financially doing better off. Of no, you're not, sir. You sound drunk and high on meth now. That's why you're mad at Jewish people because they're not sharing Wait, no money. With you. They're they're not sharing any money with you, and you're too chicken shit to do anything about it. So you want to whine to us? My why don't you go? More than why, why don't you go holler at them if they're taking all of your wealth and making miscegenation a thing in your community? Why don't yeah, you holler at them? No one believes you, bro. Why don't you holler at them? Y'all stay whining to black people, but you're scared of Jewish people. They didn't smack you and made you their bitch. The emojis, bro. No. But no, no, no. The the Jewish community made you their bitch, and you're mad at us. How that work? No, nah, Ayo Kamafi calls out racial sir, like you. Sir, he that dude used to work for Homeland Security. Okay, so that's all you need to know about him. But how does it feel? How, how does it feel being bitched out by that community? Well, we can put the gloves on. I'll mop you. Uh, sir, you're going to mop up some mayonnaise. How does it feel to be bitched out by the people you despise? The Jews is the enemy of the, of. And you can't do anything about it. They made you their bitch, and now you whine into us. That's why you mute me, coward. Yeah, no, but yeah, because you're just babbling because you're too scared to do anything or say anything to them personally. So you're here whining to black people, and we don't have any power no. in this society. What the hell are you whining to us for? Go to the people who got all the money and the people who were smacking you around like a bitch. Why don't you go to them? You're the golem to the Jew, retard. But you're not doing anything but whining to me. So what does that make you? You don't even know who I am. Don't give a damn. You're just another run of the wheel, mill white supremacist. Can't wait to put you on a boat. You're another run of the mill white supremacist living in a trailer park eating jelly sandwiches, sir. You're nothing. Three thousand foot square house, nigger. Oh, stop it! No, 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 no. You don't have a three thousand square foot house. You got a two hundred foot trailer, and the tires are flat on it, sir. You're struggling and you're mad because you're not getting any of those benefits from your whiteness. Your whiteness ain't working. I don't, I don't want Gibbs like you. I work. Sir, sir, the only thing that's getting Gibbs is the white women are giving some coochie to the brothers. How does that make you feel? 13%, 60% of all violent crimes. How does that feel, retard? Um, and you're 10% of the population and you smell like 80% of the wet dog fragrances on earth. How does that feel? How does it feel not to invent? Them? Okay, now your your trolling is boring, sir. All right, you're just regurgitating a bunch of four chan gibberish, and it's not even witty. And you're mad because the no 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 you're out no 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 you're out no no I'll try to get back up here you out you're out there you go how about that? 
black daddy didn't smack you down too. So you didn't got smacked down by two ethnic groups. So y'all just made you my bitch tonight. All right. Don't come whining to us about how other groups are smacking you around. You come crying to us. Let's get Lord Hunky in the building. <laughs> These names. Lord Hunky. What's up, Lord Hunky? Lord Hunky in the building. Unmute your microphone, sir. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. What's going on? That's all right. Listen, hey, she's a good guy. I just want to know. I'm sitting here, and I got this 4,000-square-foot house. I just want to know. I mean, I, I, I've been listening. Okay. So, well, y'all, white supremacists, stop fantasizing. You're in your trailer park. Enjoy your trailer park. There's nothing wrong with being in your trailer park. Just be humble about it. But go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be ashamed of your trailer. But go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Unmute your microphone, sir. How about we go to Zillow and we compare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's on? I'll compare you. You want to compare? Well, what are we going to compare, sir? I'll put in my address and your address. He's got more square feet. Sir, all you're going to do is put in a fake address. We are. I won't. Have... Yes, yeah, sir. You, you find you find you you pick your person. You pick your person. I just want to know why are you so blind to the Jewish problem? Well, why are you whining to us about the Jewish problem? Because Jews brought you here. No, they didn't. We were already here. Really? Y'all just yeah. magically showed up here? Yeah, America. Really? The North America was always populated okay. by black people. You didn't know that? Well, your your tribes sold you to the Jews. No, no. There were some transaction there, but there were already black people here, sir. While we were over here in North America, you were over there in Europe picking head lice out of your pubic, sir. That's the fact. All right? So we were, many of us were already over here. This is our land. Many of us are indigenous to North America, sir, and you're not. Go ahead, Mr. Hunky. Go ahead, sir. Mr. Lord Hunky. Go ahead. Un unmute your microphone, sir. I don't know if you drop your meth pipe on the mic. I don't know what's going on, but go ahead. Unmute your microphone. He's probably still talking or hitting that meth. There you, you there? Go. There you, you there? go. All right, listen. I don't want to do the whole white and black shit. Seriously. I just want to know why you can't wake up to the Jewish question. Well, you're the one, uh, who's, you're the one who's getting bitched out by them and getting no, smacked I'm, up. And, no, no, no. Sir, why are you getting bitched out by them and you're afraid to, to confront them about let it? Let me just First finish. Um, but no, 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 no. I'm asking you. It'll be why real you quick. Afraid? Why are you afraid to confront them and you're whining to us? Oh, trust me. We're going to confront them. No, I just want to know, know, seriously. I know you're not. No, because I know, I know a lot of black people, and, and seriously, y'all are much smarter than this. Y'all are much smarter than this, and you should be looking at what the fuck the main problem is. Why it's, and the it's problem very, is, it's very short, it's the very short sighted. You. The problem it, is you. White no, it's, it's not about white supremacy. It is, sir. It is white supremacy. That's the really problem. how. How is it white supremacy when we both have the same problem? No, no, our problem is white supremacy. Really? How's that? Just tell me. Uh, because we live in a system of global white supremacy. Okay, global. Guess who's yeah. behind a global problem? White supremacists. Really? Who? Name them. Name their um, names. Um, name their names. It's too many to name, sir. Name their names. I can't. I'll name the names. Similar. I'll name the names, but you I can't, can't. I can't. I can't. You number one. You. You're the one. No. You're the oh, you're honky. The, you're the honky one. is yes. the problem for you're, you're the seriously? problem. Yes, you're the problem. And you have that many followers. You're, and you're you the don't, problem. You're seriously. the problem. Yes, you, you. You're one. That's one. Okay. okay. That's one. Right I'll give you a clue. Right Rothschild. Here. And come on. We can keep going nothing, all night. What's the difference between their racism and yours? Well, they're Jews and I'm white. Don't matter. What's the difference between your racism and theirs? They're Jews and I'm white. Okay, so that means there's no difference. That's a distinction without a difference. So, Listen, so you're the problem. Do you not, you're the problem. Do you, okay. So, so like, sir, listen. Back. I don't okay. want to argue. I don't. We're not going to argue because your ass is out of here. I'm sending you back to Mayo Wonderland. All right. I'm not trying to hear white supremacist babble. All right. Let's get Afro Elite in the building. Afro Elite, what's up, brother? Tariq, what's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm Tariq, good. Why did you marry? I wanted to. Why did you marry a 
Okay, go ahead, Afro. Why'd you marry a kite? I wanted to discuss. I want, okay, I'm just going to go through it. I wanted to talk about what you were saying earlier as far as a lot of these influencers that are used by the Democratic Party. What they, what the Democratic Party has realized is that using like big name celebrities like P. Diddy with the whole vote or die thing, that's way too obvious. It's way right. too obvious that they're um, being paid off. So what they're trying to do now is use like uh, semi-famous TikTokers or social right. media influencers they did this in 2020. A lot yeah. of the, the the propaganda in 2020, they did this. And what they do is after the fact, if they get elected, then they'll get invited to cocktail parties and to the White House and all of this stuff. So all of the people that you're seeing doing this now, most of them were doing the same thing in 2020. So right. you're absolutely right. It is a Democratic uh, agenda because they stopped using big celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, man. So. It's, it's like getting real obvious at this point, man. And um, yeah, we're seeing it for what it is and the way they attack us because we, we, we can see how coordinated it is because they attack us by using very specific words and they use them over and over and over again. Just like with, they're almost like the white supremacists. Notice we've had three white supremacists call up here. They're all using the same talking points. They, they say the same thing. They say all the same thing. Hey, guys, the, the Jews, it ain't white supremacy, it's the Jews. Uh, they use the same tired troll talking points. And they're always coming to us with it. They're always bringing that stuff to us. Let's get um Down South Darren. Let's get Down South Darren in the building. All right. Down South Darren. What's happening, brother? I'm good. How are you, brother? All right, FBA family. Glad to be on here. I, I listen to you like all the time, but I never got to actually get on here because most of the time I'm in bed. But anyway, salute to you. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, tell you this real quick. Uh, Kamala Harris is trash. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I don't understand how a person can. She basically trying to the Freedmen's Bureau turn it into the anybody's bureau. Yeah. But then she want to cosplay as a black woman who pull out the, the most, I don't even know the guy's name, the one she picked as the VP. He got Minnesota real screwed up. I don't even know why anybody would even want to live there. Yeah. And, and I'm going to land my plane just by saying this. Everything you're doing is correct, and I love it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. My man, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate that. Let's get um Riviera. Riviera in the building. Oh boy. That handsome truth guy has been exposed as been a failed rapper, and he's also Jewish himself. So I don't know why he came up here ranting and raving about Jews. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let me see who else we got in here. Um I'm going to get some new faces in here. Um, let's get, uh oh, who is this? Let's get Baba Tunde. Baba Tunde, what's happening, man? Baba Tunde? Unmute your microphone, brother. Baba Tunde, unmute your microphone. Baba Tunde, let's try unmuting your microphone, sir. I know you probably got a janky iPhone, but if you can unmute it, that would be great, Baba Tunde. All right. I think Baba Tunde might have just wanted to be seen, or he might be in the middle of frying up some bush meat and he can't get to the phone, and he just left the request thing open. Let me see who's down here in the mix. I see my sister Brooke in the building. I see you, Brooke. Um... Some other faces. Harley, I see you. Miss Titty Gal. Who does?
airsoft gun, and he hit him 15 more times. Piped the young man out. So uh, this was in New Mexico. Okay. I think I kind of heard something about that, but I'm, I'll look into it. I'll see what's going on with that. Um, I think I heard a little something about that. I don't know all the details, so I can't speak on it definitely. But let's get um, Zacharin. Let's get Zacharin in here. Zacharin in the building. Nigga, nigga, white power. Hey, okay, okay, come on, Zacharin. Come on, Zacharin. Hey, man. So Zach we're experiencing the downfall of all white countries, and you guys are just cheering it on. So, you like know what? what? You guys didn't want to listen to us? I hope you all white, fucking go to hell, dude. What white country, we, sir? What, you know, what, we are going to have a. Okay, slow down. Slow down. I'm trying to hear what you have to say, but you're just so moist and feminine. And you're just yelling stuff. Now, let's slow down. I want to hear what you got to say. Calm down. I would like to hear what you got to say without the goddamn trolling. Now, what white countries are you talking about? Well, the formerly white countries of Europe and America and all it's, these. You're, let's, let's slow down there. There's no such thing as a white country. You're not indigenous. You're just a bunch of traitors. And you know. You're, what are you? You're not indigenous to nowhere. Where are white people indigenous to? You're going to fucking just say. Okay, slow down. See, now you see when you hit them with facts, they try to turn up. Where are you indigenous to? You're not really indigenous to Europe because the Grimaldi people were the indigenous people there, and they were black folks. And even in Italy, you had the Etruscans; they were black, and you had Cheddar Man and all of those people, and they're dark-skinned, black-skinned people. So, where where were you indigenous as a white person? There's no indigenous white land. You are not going to be able to continue this this civilization or any of this technology, and you are going to descend back into mud huts. That is a fact. Is mud huts a code word for white cooch? Because that's where a lot of cats are going to de descend back into, some of them white coochies, so they can make them children brown. Is that the problem that you have, sir? Hmm? Is that the problem that you have that some of, oh, he, he bounced. I didn't, he, I, I didn't get him out of here. He, he, he left on his own. All right. Why are you crying to us? Let me get this other white supremacist up here. Too ready. You were Lou and let's, let's talk real Lou. Let's not, let's not do the trolling because your trolling ain't funny. Just let us know what's on your mind. You white supremacist. Jew, why are you married to a kike Jew? Why did you marry a kike Jew? Your wife's a kike. Where are your kippa, oh, you dumb that, nigger? Why is your... That's not offensive. That's not offensive, sir. That's not offensive. What? Now, let's get to some, some real stuff. Now, what's going on? Now, what's going on? Okay, uh, too ready. What's on your mind, for real? That's not offensive. Uh, okay, why are you deflecting the blame off Jews just because you have a love for one and you think it's white and Jews not are not white here? Is that, is that supposed Jews. to be offensive, sir? No, it's it's the truth. Okay, no, no it's not. That's why it's not, that's why it's not offensive, sir. You're not offensive. You're, 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 not, you're not offensive. You're, you're not offensive. You're not offensive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. All right. Because there's so much shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Dogs, skunks, and shit all over the place. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Damn. Holy shit. You had to go outside. You can't talk in front of your dirty fucking wife. Your house is so fucking dirty. I can hear shit falling around you, dirty goddamn nigga. You probably smell like shit. You're going to descend back into fucking mud huts. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye, faggot. That, that's, that's not offensive, sir. You're just yelling a bunch of profanities and curse words. That's not offensive, sir. That's you, butt hurt. Black Daddy has you butt hurt, sir. All right. Black Daddy has you butt hurt, and you can't do shit about it. All you're doing is yelling about it, yelling a bunch of weird cornball racial epithets because Black Daddy has spanked you, and you're not getting any benefits from all of the 
Jewish people you're whining about. You can't do anything to them. They didn't smack you and made you their bitch and you're sitting up in a trailer park eating a chili dog, mad as hell because you ain't getting none of the benefits of white supremacy like you want. So instead of confronting the people that's smacking you around and making you a bitch, you want to come yell to us yelling the N-word. Like that's offensive. That's not offensive. It doesn't bother us. It's not offensive whatsoever. Baba Tunde, you here, brother? Mr. Baba Tunde. All right, Baba Tunde, you got two seconds to get on. I'm going to block you permanently. Hold on. Let me get you out of here. All right. Hold on. One second. Hold on. Let me get this dude out of here. Um, let me see who else we got. Um, let's get this person here. Humble Herder. Humble Herder. What's going on? Humble Herder. Hop on. Yeah, what's up, uh, Mr. Tariq Nasheed? I'm good, man. What's going you know on? What I mean? Oh, personally, I'm doing good, you know what I mean? I'm doing all right. Having a good day today, can't lie. Yeah, last time I spoke on the stage, you kicked me down. I was, I was speaking about, you know what I mean, your family situation in Haiti, and maybe it was a bit too personal for you. you know well, I, mean? I don't have a family in Haiti, so what are you talking about? It wasn't personal because I don't have No, a I was talking about your, your wife. I mean, you know. She doesn't have love it. Guerrero? Like, that's a pretty Haitian sounding surname to me. Like, is that her FPA name? surname? That's, that's not her name. So where are you? I know you tethers are just used to lying nonstop. That's but not it, her name. No, that's okay. not. It, what's with you tethers just, is that why you fail in your homeland? Y'all just sit around lying? I, I'm going to be honest. I heard it from uh, Black Americans. Black Americans were saying, you know, you know what I mean? But you, you Mr. must be. Mr. she's got a, a, what's a called Haitian wife. This is another. I'm thinking, damn. But prove it. If she's Haitian, how can and you? And they said you got a white godmother on top of that. Uh, okay, like, okay. That she's Haitian. I mean, I'm asking you. Like, I'm asking you. I'm not sure, right? I'm, I'm just not hearing it from a sec. I'm a second hand. Like, I'm just hearing it. I'm asking you. Like, is she Haitian? Do you have yeah. like a white godmother? Like, what's going you're, on? You're making a statement and you're time wasting. You know why? I'm asking you a question, bro. <laughs> Why don't you want to answer? Mr. Musty Tether had to play your theme song real quick. All right. You, you here, bro? Yeah, that was kind of corny in my opinion, but... Oh, no, that, that slap. I had a nice beat, though. Don't get me that wrong. That describes had a nice beat. you perfectly. A musty... No, I'm not a musty. To be a honest... A musty, lying tether. Nah, Good let's boy. be honest, right? Listen, you know listen. I mean? let me give you some advice. I've heard, from the, I've heard from the Latinos, listen, the white... The musty, lying tether routine... There's a reason why your homeland has failed because of all of that damn lying. Nobody can trust each other and nobody can build with each other because all y'all tethers do is sit around lying all the time. That has to get tiring because it fails you, sir. There's a reason why you have to flee. There's a reason why you have a British accent. You have to free to Britain. All the lying and tethering in your homeland, sir. How's that lying working out for you? Hmm? Don't y'all tethers ever get tired of being the stereotype of lying scammers? Yo, Tariq, where did you get that word tether? Isn't that from a movie? Yeah, That's but from the Us movie, right? Tethers, don't y'all ever get tired of falling into the lying scamming stereotype? Just everything out your mouth got to be a damn lie. I mean, you don't, like, you don't let's get be honest. Okay, I hear your question, but oh, do you not think there's? Do you not oh, think? Okay. All right. 
see, this is why my, my non-FBA fam, see, this is the problem why we delineate and y'all want to get mad at us for delineating. Look at your people. All that lying and scamming all the time. We don't want to be around that. Let's be real. What makes y'all think we want to be around the lying, scamming, tethered class in your community? You know how useless that is to us? What are we going to do with him? And then y'all get mad when we want to delineate. That's, that's why we want to delineate. We're not going to build nothing with that. Because y'all couldn't build nothing with it. You see? Musty lying tethers. We're not going to do anything with that. So we, we got to delineate. We should have been delineating harder. Let's get King Shifter. King Shifter. What's up, man? King Shifter, let's unmute that microphone, sir. Hey, Tariq, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's happening? All right, Tariq. Hey, man, long time listener. Um, you know, as we live in this, we live in this world of you know global supremacy. You know, I think we should involve all skin of black people, meaning black Americans and Africans. Not everyone's a coon. But you know, the guy who just called, what are we going to do with that? What? How are we going to deal with that? He's a lying, jive-ass, time-wasting tether. We can't not, do nothing with that. We can, not everybody's on code, right? So the right, ones who right. are on code. Not, not even just on code. Just not being a lying, scamming tether. Just everything out your mouth is a damn lie. But we don't want to be around that, man. We can't deal with that. That's why we haven't built nothing. Because we've been doing this one-sided-ass Pan-African thing, trying to stand on business, and this is what y'all give us, man. Y'all send us these lying, trash, nobody, time-wasting tethers who are good for nothing. That's the reality. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta do some straightening within African society, brother. Ain't no straightening, and we are not going to sit here and be the straighteners for you because we just don't want to be associated with that tether class no more. What part of Africa are you from, fam? Yeah, I'm from Eritrea. Yeah, Eritrea, right. We differ, we built different. You can't say we not. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. You can't say we not. We don't we don't believe in global white supremacy. Uh we don't if, if you look at our country, we're sanctioned because we don't listen to global white supremacy. So I, I think we need more numbers. You know, not only do black Americans need reparations, the whole Africa need reparations. So the more numbers we have, the more people we bring together, it's gonna basically enhance the opportunity to get what we deserve, right? Be hollering at Britain, man. How come y'all not hollering at Britain? Oh, they are. They, they, they is. They're hollering at Britain. They're, they're hollering at uh, Italy. So, you right. know, at this, at this moment, it's happening. But I think we need more numbers, right? Because we got a lot of, we got a lot of coons. I mean, not coons, but we got a lot of people who are, uh, who love white people, right? So, I think we got to subtract that. That's how the Haitian Revolution did it and how the, all revolutions do it, but we we it can't just be separation. It has to be it has to be together. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, we can't build with no, not with the lying, scamming tether class. This we we can't do that. That sounds good on paper, but no, these lying scammers, who everything out of their mouth is a damn lie. I, we don't want nothing to do with that. That's been the damn problem. I don't want nothing to do with that. All right, let's get some more people in here. Let's get Joe. Let's get Joe in the building. Joe, what's happening? Unmute your microphone, Joe. Yeah, his face just dropped out for a second. What dropped down? The speaker just dropped out for a second. I couldn't do nothing. Okay, we can hear you. So what's going on? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I've just been listening to your space for a bit. Why can't you just debate properly, man? Why can't you just talk respectfully to people, huh? Who me? Sorry. No. Why can't you talk respectfully? What are you, What are you saying? I'm saying, why can't you speak respectful? Like, you know, you've had numerous people come up and you just shoot everyone down. They come to you with a, some thought or a process and you just shoot it down no matter what. No, you, you not, you're not going to play selective hearing. You heard these white supremacists call up using the word and all of that. So you're not going to do that. Don't do that. That's bad faith arguing, sir. 
So what do you have well, to say? Mate, what, what do you have to well, say? What's your point? Each person has their own opinion and thought, mate, whether but you no, agree no, with no, it or not. Whether no, you agree with it or not is up to you. Yeah. You don't call up yelling the N-word and all of these racial epithets. That's not a good thing. That's not how I was listening to it. Yeah, one guy come in and went off his chops a bit, but he was also retaliating to what you were you were being like, mate, how you were acting. No, he wasn't. No, he came in. The first things out of his mouth was racial epithets, sir. You've got white supremacists here and where you don't hear your own community and their anti-black racism, sir. Why is that? You don't think that you don't think a lot of that is valid? Calling us the N-word? Well, hang on. Do you not call them crackers? Do you not call them names no. as well? No. When they came in here, I didn't call them any names. When they came in here, we didn't, sir. So if you want to justify your anti-black racism based on some other actions outside of what we're doing now, that's just practicing white supremacy. Where is your accent from? Are you from Scotland or Ireland? No, I'm Australian. Australian. Okay. okay. So, yeah. That's your lady in the I back. Just, I just don't know. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. I just don't, mate. You're like, you know, you, you've got people coming in to debate you, and you shoot them down automatically. You have this attitude and this chip on your shoulder, you know, and you wonder why people don't brethren, like. Your brethren are the ones who are angry. I haven't raised my voice. You guys are angry. What no, are but it's your about? your demeanor, your attitude. You've even done it. You've even done it to the. You've even done it to the Africans that have come up to talk to you. You shoot but, them down and disrespect them like you're above everyone, you're when you're not. You're not going to lie because you're not going to come in here lying. You don't get to come in here. Nobody's lying. lying. I haven't spoken no lies. Or lying. If you come in here lying about um, somebody having a Jewish wife, that's a lie. If you come in here knowingly lying. Well, is your, you wife, get, you well, get, is your wife Jewish? Sir, if she was, they would have pointed it out and proved it. They know she's not and you know she's not. So why are you? No, I don't know anything about your wife. Mate. Well, you know enough. You know that she, if she was, they would have had proof of it. And if she was, what difference would it make? What if she was? Which she isn't. But what if she was? Then that's up to you, mate. It's your wife. But what if she was? Why? Why would that be a thing? It's not a thing for me, mate. She's your wife, not mine. So what point do you have? You don't really have a point. What did you want to debate? What My point, point is that you've had numerous people come up from white and black communities to discuss things with you and you make out you're bigger and better than bragging about your house and you shoot them down and you yeah, drop okay. them and mute yeah, okay. them and everything yeah. else. This is the yeah, longest okay. conversation you've had with anybody since I've been because in these spaces they're with me. Parks because they're living in trailer parks and they're lying about having all of this wealth, which they don't. Sorry, so. you're breaking up. I didn't hear you. Yeah, because they come in here lying about living in 4,000 square feet homes, and they're lying. You don't get to lie here, sir. You get straightened in here. Why? Why is that? Hang on, I've heard you. You're like, you, I have, I've, heard it. I've heard it. Go down, Joe. You know, this ain't rabbit-proof fences. You don't get to run roughshod over here. There's decorum here. I don't let you white supremacists just run amok. And I know a lot of you are not used to black daddy kind of putting the reins on you and slowing you down so you're not acting a damn fool. You don't come in my space acting a fool. You're not going to come. Just muted. You just muted now exactly what I've been talking about. Instead of, just, instead of just I just muted you again. You see how Black Daddy works? Magic? You don't get to do that, Joe. You don't get to come into our house here and just yell whatever you want to yell. There's going to be order. See, we have a law and order here, Joe. You see how that works? We're not are you going to let me finish now? Or are you going to you going to let me finish now? You're going to just keep muting. You're going to be finished when I'm done talking. That's when you're going to finish. You'll be finished when I'm finished. And black I'm listening to you. Black, be black, a man, yeah. Daddy, black daddy is not done talking yet. You're going to have to wait on black daddy. Black daddy's not done talking. No, you got to get in the Mayo corner and wait for me to finish talking. Now, like I said, you're going to have decorum and there's going to be law and order in here. You don't get to run amok and be a crazed white supremacist running around doing things all willy nilly, Joe. That doesn't work here. You're not going to act like a savage. Do I make myself clear, Joe? <clears throat> yeah, I got you. I got you. Now you're going to listen to me or you're going to mute? Um, no, and I, I caught that. You're not going to be a little dirty, low birth rate having white supremacists. Mm -hmm. 
You got no idea. Hey, I've got five kids. I know I've got five kids. Hey, I've got five kids. Nothing on my bed. So five kids meaning um, five baby kangaroos. You got five joeys. You got little kangaroos bouncing around, but you don't have biological children, sir. I don't believe that. And if you do, I've got, I've got five. I've got five biological do, children. I've got five do, biological if, children. If you do, it's by an Asian woman out there because y'all get them Asian women out there in Australia. So yeah, some woman you got over there from Thailand. Wrong. Wrong. My wife. My wife is blonde haired, blue eyed. Well, she dyed her hair. Okay, because she's a no, Filipino no, stripper. She's a no. Filipino stripper. <clears throat> yeah, she dyed it blonde. She's a Filipino stripper, so let's stop playing. All right? So, yeah, I don't believe you got no five kids by no Anglo white woman. Uh, mate, I don't care what you believe. It's as facts, yeah. mate. No, it's why, why, why? This is what I'm talking about. This is what no, I'm talking about with your chip. No, no, your you chip on your shoulder and your the, attitude. No, sir. It's Your birth rates are struggling, not mine. My birth rates are fine, sir. You're the one angry with struggling birth rates, sir. Feeling like you're going extinct. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just told you I have five kids, right? Uh, and then, and then you didn't believe a word I said. Right, I then probably, told you that my wife. And, for, and, the, and if you do, like I said, they're probably half Asian, sir. That's what I'm saying. That's what y'all do in Australia. You wrong. Get no, wrong. You wouldn't have a clue. And my wife's not Asian oh. at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I, I don't. Now, it. if you'd be so kind, if you'd be so kind to. I don't believe it, sir. I don't believe it. You're here whining for a reason because daddy has triggered you. Black daddy is calling the shots on you and pointing out your fallacy, sir. That's why you're in Australia, all right? Because you couldn't cut it in Britain. The British white women don't want you. So you had to go out there and get you a, a Thai woman, right? Didn't you? Are you going to let me finish or are you going to be a fucking clown? Okay, well, you watch your mouth, Joe. Watch your mouth because you, you don't have the weight on you to be intimidating hang on hang on yeah. hang on you're rudely interrupting me you're muting me you're telling because this is my house this is my house and i call the shots here hey, Joe. it might be your house mate but this is what i'm okay, okay now you can get your ass out of here because now you're boring me so now look how that works black daddy got that ass out of here because i don't want to hear you whining i don't want to hear mayo tears all right go go whine to your doctor about them birth rates don't whine to me all right, go whine to him. Let's get midnight. In. Midnight, hop in. Hop in, midnight. You see how? Um, hey, good evening. How you doing today, Tariq? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing fine. So I got two things. You see how okay. that Eritrean guy? He came in. He wants unity all of a sudden. Now that we're delineating, he didn't offer no land, no tangibles, nothing like that. He's like, oh, we need to get along. We need more numbers and stuff like that. We've been doing it alone for the past 400 years. Go ahead, Tariq. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely true, man. We've been out here doing this whole one-sided global black thing, and we've been, we've been the only ones putting numbers on the board and upholding this thing. And, you know, we're, we're tired of doing it, man. We're, we're sitting up here trying to be on some global black kumbaya, and what we're getting is tethers coming over here doing everything they can to undermine us with our resources. And we're saying enough is enough. We're just not having that no more. That's not going to be the new law of business. We, we just, we're cool on that. All right, let's get some folks in here. we got a light, a lot of people in here. Let's get white delight. A lot of white supremacists in here tonight. Very interesting. White Delight is clearly one of these white supremacist troll pages, but let's hear what White Delight has to say. What's up, White Delight? Hello. Hi, White Delight. Hi, I'm Joe's partner. How are we going? Oh, you're Joe's partner? Okay, there you go. You're the Australian woman who allegedly has... Oh, it's apparently <laughs> Asian. He's apparently Asian. Right. Just by your stereotype, just because I'm Asian. Right. I'm fucking Asian. I've got blonde hair, blue eyes. I have five kids. They're all blonde hair, blue eyes. And they're going to have another fucking five kids between each. Each kid's going to have five kids. That's going to be another lot of white in the community. And the only reason the blacks are so high is because you just don't believe in birth control and you are out rooting each other. You can see it in the clips when the girls are grinding up on little kids and shit. He's a pedophile. Ma'am, do you know how many of you white supremacist pedophiles are in Australia 
that's a hotbed for you white supremacist pedophiles. You don't really want to go there, do you, ma'am? You don't want to go there. Miss White Delight, do you really want to go there, dear? Miss White Delight? White Delight, hop on. Unmute yourself. You're probably babbling. You're probably babbling and don't even know that you're. You can oh, no, you know the media, you fucking liar. You're a liar. Watch All black the liars. Watch, watch, watch your mouth, ma'am, because you sound fat and hideous. All right, but go ahead, ma'am. And you go sound ahead. like a big black fucking muscly over fucking steroid using fucking black cunt. Ma'am, that's no, not, not ma'am. Watch ma the light. Don't call me, ma'am. I don't want. Yes, ma'am. You sound like you're fat and flabby with long sagging breast ma'am you wash your titties and throw them over a clothes hanger to dry that's how saggy your titties are ma'am go ahead beloved you won't let me hey fuck with stop muting me to make yourself look good that's what you do yeah you well, fucking idiot at least i look Bring good. Joe up, you, saying you such sound, a man you sound hideous ma'am you sound like a very well, I, don't have, I don't have saggy titties. you look like hulk hogan with a C-section, but go ahead, ma'am. Bring Joe up if you're a man. Go on, we'll discuss it as a family. You got the husband and wife, let's go. You want to fucking rally our fucking truths? Let's go. Now go ahead. What's Off you go, add him up. Add him up, man. Such a man, add him up. Bring him up. Ma'am, what are you babbling? You know, ma I'm a white to lie to you. Don't fucking man me, yeah? You sound what so hideous. What? You you like no, I'm not. I'm a, gang, I'm a size eight. Witch. For five kids, I'm a great body. My ass is fucking tight. My titties are perked. And your fucking oh. baboon women are running around slapping you, their tits. You sound like a big, burly transgender. Okay? You sound like you're built like a strong boy. All right? You're not going to talk about... And you about sound like you're a little fucking big. You're not going to say anything about black women. They all look better than you. You sound hideous. You sound like a wicked witch of the damn evil. Hey, I'll fix you as well. <laughs> oh, rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone. Because somebody drops the house on you, then you have to pay the That's what you sound like, a wicked ass witch. You sound hideous. You sound like your teeth are jacked up. You sound like you look a mess, ma'am. You're not a white delight. You're a fright delight. All right? White delight. And I know that's not your picture. You got an AI picture. You don't look like that. You're not a white delight. Bitch, you're built like a bottle of sunny delight. You big white. Yeah, and that's why you fucking black men are out there trying to grab all the white women, you fucking desperate. We ain't trying to grab you, ma'am. I can guarantee you. We're not trying to grab you. We're trying to grab you to turn you in for a robbery. I've had plenty of black men out there trying to pick me up. Oh, oh no, 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 no. They're, they're trying to pick you up and drop you off at a kennel somewhere. The brothers are not checking for you. You do not sound sexy worth a damn. You sound hideous, ma'am. You sound like your body is real bad built. You and you sound like you just got pulled from the trees eating a monkey, bitch. Okay, Bring yeah, Joe up. Bring take, Joe. A look, take a good look at a monkey. Ma'am, you look more monkey than me. All right? It's proven that you have chimp chains in you, you fucking dickhead. No, 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 no. Scientifically, you got the Reese's monkey blood in you. We don't. Black people don't have that Reese's, Reese's blood, that Reese's monkey blood. That's you, ma'am. That's why the monkey's got the thin lips and white skin and stringy hair. You're, I, you're the monkey's uncle, not me, ma'am. That's, that's why, why he's here. a ma'am. That's why you're over here faking about all the kids you have. You sound too old to have kids, all right? You sound like you're about 60 years old. Your womb has been dried up, okay? Talking about black people hitting on you, they'll hit you with a car and run you over. Oh my god, you are such a fucking shit talking, dribbling fuckwit, aren't you? Go yeah, get that's... educated. Are you from I hope a koala bear bites one of your saggy titties. How about that? All right, over there in Australia. And I hope someone drives past and whips your little woolies off your fucking bodies that you keep. And I hope one of them kangaroos raise up on their tail and kick you in your fat stomach and knock the mayonnaise out of your esophagus. That's what I hope, ma'am.
All right. And I hope you be a man and bring Joe up, you fuckwit. I've already talked to your bitch ass boyfriend and husband, Joe. No, you haven't. You sit there and dictated your booty to him. I've already, I've already talked to him. He ain't talking about nothing. You're a bunch of, a couple of white supremacists. Bring him up then. Go and bring him up. You bring no, him up. I've, if you're... I've already, ma'am, I already talked to him. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about none of you. You guys are the trailer park Australian filth. And I don't want to speak to any, either one of you, ma'am. So anyway, get your bad built Sunny Delight bottle shaped ass out of here. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right, let me see who else we got. Okay. A lot of people in the room. We got 1,100 people in the room. Shout out to everybody in here. Got 1,100 people. This woman sounds sounds hideous talking about all the black men trying to get with her. Not no foundational black Americans. I can't speak for some of the African dudes who might try to get a green card out of that ass, but no. Foundational black Americans ain't trying to holler at you. You sound too unsexy and hideous, man. All right, let's get um Mr. G.H. Edom. What's up, Mr. G.H.? Hop in, brother. What's going on, Tariq? How you doing? I'm good, man. What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. Quick question. Go ahead. Why do these suspected white um white supremacists always um defect to Jews and say <clears throat> that Jews are in the media, but they never address the issue of um racial bias in the media? Um, because all of their arguments in bad faith, everything they say is in bad faith. The minute they start talking about Jews and all that, you're dealing with hardcore white supremacists. And the name of the game is to talk in circles and try to waste our damn time. That's all they do it for. Because if they really had a problem with Jewish people, you'd be somewhere in a Jewish forum hollering at them. They come over here with that nonsense because the name of the game is just to waste time so we don't focus on white supremacy. So don't even engage in that stuff if the arguments are always in bad faith. Let's get um, um, Philo Somalia. <laughs> what up, Trig, man? A long-term listener, second time speaking with you. How are you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you, brother? I uh, don't know, man. I'm li I live in Seattle now. Uh, oh. Yeah, so uh, I just want to talk about it, man, the, this inflation going on, and also a little bit panicking about the, you know, the markets going down. There's a lot of inflation going on. There's a lot of kids here, man. So it's kind of tough. Are you guys going through that kind of stuff? Yeah, man. That's that's all over. That's all over the place. But um, anyway, but thank you. I don't really want to get into finances, and I mean that's, I'm already bored with that right now. Shit, I don't want to get into inflation and finances. Um, Matro, hop in. Matro. All right, Matro, where you at, brother? All right, Matro ain't saying nothing. Let's get Lion Legal. Lion Legal in the building. What's up, Lion Legal? Lion Hello? Legal. Yo, what's up, yeah. Lion Legal? Yeah, Tariq. First of all, I'll say that there is somebody that comes in your rooms and a lot of black spaces and um it's not exactly clear what they're doing there so you should kick Shirley Sh Shirley low out because it's clear that she's probably some kind of agent or something every Ooh. single black room Shirley low where is she I don't see her in here she's she's uh well I can see her actually I can see her she's like you know oh, one of the yeah, first okay. people every single every single black room I see her in and she never speaks it's so weird man she's there is something wrong with uh, her account that's for sure and okay well you don't know you don't know she could just some be no, somebody no, no, who well, like you know trust me dude i've been in loads of black rooms she's always there and she and she never says a thing uh, and um the and that's other okay. thing I was about <laughs> okay and the other thing i was about to talk about is all of the uk riots going yes on. what's happening out there with that what what people think is that uh they feel as if it's caused essentially by uh, a race issue, but I think it's actually caused by poverty because what people may not appreciate is that the UK is actually 
a poorer country now. They don't really produce anything. They don't have a lot of natural resources, oil, gas, coal, etc. They are m much more of a financial services based economy. That means that they get their money from the banking sector primarily. However, uh, given the fact that England left the EU, now it's a lot more difficult for them to attract a lot of the bankers, talents, etc. You know, lots of the banks clearing houses have been moved out of the UK, etc. So, and you see, the disadvantage of being racist is that it actually harms your economy because the best Indian talent, the best black black talent, etc., people of that sort are not going to come if if they can't get a very good job. So that is what has actually caused a lot of these issues. All right. All right. Thank you so much for your insight, brother. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see who we got here. All right. A lot of people in the building. Uh, okay. Shout out to everybody in here. And um, don't forget to get your root work deodorant, by the way. Let's get Lucas. Lucas, where you at, man? Yes, hi, everyone. I'm Lucas from Trinidad, so I'm following American politics. Uh, and um, I like a lot what Trump is saying, but the thing is, Kamala, I don't know, like, what's her platform or anything. Trump, I also have some, some questions about his foreign policy, but that's about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, Trump, you know, his policies um, are just more enticing than the Democrats at this point. The Democrats, man, it's just like, now Kamala don't really have any policy, but we know they get down. We know that they're going to flood us with a bunch of immigration and a bunch of trick language where they sit here and act like they're doing things for black people, but then slip in the minority thing. And then other groups benefit off things that we're supposed to get, just like with that, um, the black farmers thing, getting the two billion dollars. There's like black farmers and minority farmers. So we, we cannot ignore the little trick words that they put in that undermine us. That cannot be ignored. All right. Let's get on. Um, let me see. We got IQ Watson. IQ Watson. What's up? All right. Waiting on IQ Watson, and then we got Ramby. Either one, IQ or Ramby. Ramby? I'm here. You can hear me? I can hear you, Ramby. What's up? Uh, what's going on, uh, Tariq? Uh, I, I had a question about, about reparations. Go ahead. Where are uh, you from, Ramby, with a name like Ramby? Where are you from? Oh, it's Ramby. Uh, I'm from, from a, what the oh, heck? Was, oh, was, that, was that a cow in the back, bro? Who was that? Is, I, wait, is IQ, is that you? That was him. <laughs> okay. All right, calm down, IQ. He's about to get that bush meat popping. So, Ramby, now, now, where's your family from, Ramby? From, it's, it's, it's from, it's from uh, America. They didn't want me to have uh, a, a slave name, so it's, that's, okay. that's why it changed. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's IQ. Um, IQ, brother. Turn the fire down on the bush meat. The cattle ain't going nowhere. So, Ramby, what's on your mind? Oh, yeah. So about reparations, I just wanted to know, is there a certain percentage of uh, FBA that you have to have? Like, for example, if you were like half FBA and then you had offsprings with like a white person, your kids would be 25 percent FBA. So at what percentage does it like cuts off? Because you could completely change a race going from black to white and still uh, trace your lineage to FBA. Well, the thing is, if you are a foundational black American now, you're still classified as black. You know, that would make you FBA because, yeah, you got white people who came from like a slave and a slave master and then they've whitened up over the years and they've been living as white for you know the last couple of generations. They're not qualified. They're not foundational black Americans. See, that's why the term foundational black American is a very important term because it covers past and present. It's what you are now and it's what you were. Your foundational black American, your black American now and your foundational takes you to the past. See, that's why that term is a real Trump type term that people can't really remix like that. All right, let's get um, David Patrick in the building. David Patrick. What's up, David? If you 
can unmute your microphone. That'd be great. Mr. David. Nice opportunity. Although I'm not um, official, I'm not an American. Uh, I'm a Nigerian oh. by heritage. Oh, I would have never guessed. But what's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to ask a question and get some certain things clear because um, I wanted to ask which party, because it's been causing a lot of, uh, well, I say it, it's, it's resulting in a conundrum between me and some of my folks. So I wanted to get some certain history put through in the right, and I believe you are one of those who could give me the correct history, correct details of the history. Which party was responsible for freeing slaves in America? Which party actually did the work? I just wanted to ask that. I can go up with a follow-up question, but I needed to know that because it's good to get to know some of these things because it helps you know what to do when it comes, when it reaches the time to vote. So please, I want to get that because in some circles I heard it was the Republicans, some other people said it's the Democrats. So I don't understand which party actually is responsible for it. Well, Thank it you. The, well, hold, listen, listen, it was the black people who actually fought in the Civil War. They were the ones really responsible for it. The parties like to take credit for certain things, just like in the 1960s. I'm going to give you an example. In the 60s, they like to give the Democrats credit for the civil rights bills and all of that stuff. But the thing is, it was the black people in the streets that forced the Democrats to sign the civil rights bill. They didn't sign it out of the goodness of their hearts. They signed it because black people were turning up in this country and they were forced to sign it, just like in the Civil War. The North, they were losing the Civil War. They needed black people who were freedmen and maroons to fight. And part of the deal was, OK, if you help us fight, we'll abolish slavery after this war. So black people went in, put in work and helped win the Civil War. Now, the Republicans were in office at the time. Abraham Lincoln was a quote unquote Republican. But here's the thing. Republicans and Democrats, they switch sides like they switch clothes. So that's a distinction without a difference. The Democrats were the Confederates. But if you look now, who's flying Confederate flags? It's Republicans, right-wingers. The right-wing white supremacists run around here protecting Confederate monuments. That's why that um, Unite the Right out there in, um, what was it, Charlottesville? What would, um, um, I forgot the name of the place, out there in um, Virginia. When they went out there, they were out there protecting a Confederate monument and the Confederates were Democrats. So the point is, parties are inconsequential to these white supremacists. They change parties like they change clothes. Does that make sense, David? Yeah, it does. It actually does. So basically what you're trying to say, is for a black, specifically a black American, you look, you look at the policies, not the party. What policies right. benefit you better compared? Don't look at the party because these people can. It's like they are wolves in sheep clothing. Wolves in sheep's clothing, so they can right. switch to the point. So I, I get your point now. It makes it makes sense. There you go. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't. This is why I'm not a. I'm not on the Democrat train. I'm not on the Republican train. I'm all about who can get something done for foundational Black Americans. I don't give a damn who gets it done. I ain't loyal to none of these people because they ain't loyal to us. And my thing is, I'm all about us using our leverage, which is our voting power, use it for power. Not just to vote. We don't forget voting power means the power to get something. We just want to vote just to be out there doing something. Damn that. Giving your damn vote away for free like a nimcom poop. I ain't doing that. Let's get um, Zafar. Zafar Khan in the space. What's up, man? Zafar? All right, while we're waiting on Zafar, let's get Soheen. Wait, wait, we got Zafar. Yes, Zafar. What's going on with your background? Is How are you, my space, my all friend? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? I am from Pakistani. 
All right, what's on your mind? Zafar, what's on your mind, man? I will my palo. It is you can't speak English. I am no speaker. Right. Are you there, Zafar? Follow me. Follow me, Sarek. All right, so are you good? I am speaking in Urdu. Boy, this dude is struggling, man. Damn. I, I got him out of here. I, he's just struggling for no reason. You shouldn't struggle for nothing, brother. I don't even know why you're struggling. You can't even get it out. Soheen, what's up, man? Soheen, you in here, man? Unmute your microphone, Soheen. Or whatever your name is. All right, let me get him out of here. All right, I hate when people try to raise their hand to get up and they don't say nothing. What's up, Jim Mack? Let's get Jim Mack in the... Jim Mack, what's happening? Jim? Are you ready, Jim? We got how many? Yo, Tariq, you hear me? I can hear you. What's up, brother? Oh, yeah, it's a, another talking point to show, dude, when you say, uh, what's, Ka what's Kamala uh, Black Agenda? What you mean, her, her, her agenda? Project 20, 20, uh, 2025. This is chestnut checkers. Oh, yeah. You're like, man, shut up. Man, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, Hi, they, brother. They, 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 nobody <laughs> give a real answer. Everything is about some scare tactic. It, it's it's real pathetic at this point. Let's get Guy Jew in here. Guy Jew. What's up, Guy Jew? What's up with it, Guy Jew? Guy Jew? Guy Jew, what's happening? All right, let's get brother drama. Okay, y'all raise your hand if you only want to. Oh, is that Guy Jew? Guy Jew, I heard you, but you broke up. What's up? What's up, man? All right, let's get brother in here. Brother? I can hear you, man. What's going on? All right. You, you hear about that? That um, is this photo, some Photoshop. That this a smiley went to a bodega in New York City, and it got it left a food stamp receipt, right? And when the cashier picked it up, he noticed, the, you know, the, the bonus on it was. $4,000 in cash and $13,000 in food stamps in, in New York City, an EBT card. Kamala Harris, they said Kamala Harris had gave each migrant $20,000 on the EBT card, $5,000 in cash and $15,000 in food stamps. Well, I would have to. I would have to see. I know they're giving them some. I don't know how much, so I can't verify or deny that. But yeah, I would have to see um, exactly what was given. So I can't really verify or deny that one. Um, Big King, hop in, man. Okay, Big King ain't ready. All right, let's get. Um, let me see. We got a lot of people in here. Okay, Big King, I tried to get you on, man. I don't know what happened. Big King, hop in, man. Big King. Tyree, what up? What's up, man? How are you, King? 
I'm good, man. Hey, I just joined, but uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, what do you think about what uh Godfrey said about Michaela Montgomery? What did he say? He said she a coon for supporting Trump. Michaela Montgomery. Now, which one is Michaela Montgomery? She's the black girl that was at his rally, and she spoke. Oh, her. Okay. Oh, yeah, the girl in down in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't see the thing, and I didn't see the context in which Godfrey spoke. But yeah, I don't. Just because somebody speaks at a Trump rally, I don't think that they're sambos, um, because at this point, the people. Let, let's keep it above the samboing is coming from the Democrats. They're looking like plantation flunkies right now. The, nobody can really, I, we got to be very honest. We got to be very honest and speak truth to power, man. Um, the people, and look, you do have some Sambos who, um, like the Tim Scotts and all of these people who do some Samboing when it comes to Trump, but old girl who spoke at the Trump rally, I didn't think she said anything particularly Samboish. What we're seeing is plantation activities coming from black folks around these damn Democrats. That twerking at that Kamala rally, twerking at a presidential rally is some of the most Samboish, plantationish thing that you can do. I love Megan, by the way. There's a time and place for everything, but just having a twerking party at a damn presidential rally, nah, no. Rolling, running around here, Buck dancing for butter biscuits, it don't get more sandboyish than that. We got to keep it a buck, man. Let's get um urban politicians in the building. Urban politicians. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, what's the deal, Tyreek? I'm good, man. How are you, brother? Yeah, I just want people to start using their logic, their reality, and their common sense. All of these things are free. I know everybody don't got them, but y'all see what's going on if you follow in the black and urban community that all these platforms y'all follow, these entertainers, these blogs, it's all being paid by the Democratic side to push the narrative, man. Yep. Oh, when you open up your Instagram, you're seeing them promote that stuff all day long. They're not doing it because this is how they feel. These people is putting their play in motion. So I just want to get that out there to do y'all real research. Stop voting for symbolic reasons. That's old. Y'all did that already. You did it twice for Obama. You did it for Biden. And now you, you're talking about doing it again for Kamala, man. When are y'all going to wake up and use your brain? Stop voting for symbolism. Get the real information because... They selling y'all a dream, man. These people are not your leaders. They're not your idols. And they're not who you should be following. Do your own research and pay attention to the facts. And like you say, the tangibles, bro. Don't think that you got to be democratic because you black. Real talk. Real talk, brother. Yeah, we got to we gotta shake the whole party. And, oh, wait, whose noise is this? Corey. Yes, sir. Brother, what is that noise, sir? Oh. Uh I don't. I don't know. Is is it? Uh, what? Yeah, that's your thing, brother. Yeah, Corey. What man? Where you at, brother? You at work right now, brother? That sounds horrible. Corey, where are you at right now, brother? With all that noise in the back. Turn your microphone on, brother. All right. You, all right. You muted me, Corey? Corey. Yes, sir. I'm here. Can you can hear, me, you hear now? me now? Yeah, I can. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's too damn janky, brother. Yeah, I had to get them off, brother. I, it's jankity jank jank. It's all over the place. Let me, let me get American product in. American product. What's up, man? American product. And Guy Jew, are you still in here? All right, let me get Guy Jew out of here. All right, American product. Where you at, man? Yeah, I'm right here. What's going on, brother? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? Man, I'm all good, man. I just want to let the people know, man, especially these women, man. If you ain't got no man at home, man, get you some weapons, man. Get yourself together. We having a repeat of 2020 once this is over with. No matter who wins, we need to take care of ourselves because we're going to have a repeat, and they're going to only attack our neighborhoods. We've seen yeah. what 2020 did to us. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we do have to step it up and be ready, man. We absolutely got to be ready. Um, Calcite. What's up, Calcite? Calcite. What's happening, Calcite? Let me try one more time, brother. All right. And while we're waiting on him, let's get C note in the building. Calcite ain't saying nothing. Let's get C note. All right. All right. Well, the C note ain't saying nothing. So IQ, you you got more cow sounds, or do you want to actually say something, IQ Watson? What's up, IQ Watson? If you say something, that's fine. If you do a sound effect, I'm going to block you and take you out of here. So which one is it going to be? IQ, where you at? Move that ass out of here. All right. You're not going to have your bush meat recipes all up on here. All right. I blocked him and got him out of here. We don't want to hear you eating. All right. That's bad table matters. All right, let's get um, Mohid Afir. I can't pronounce your name. Mohid Mohid Arif Ali. Go ahead, brother. I hope this ain't somebody from Pakistan trying to get a pen pal. Um, Arif Mohid Arif. All right. So let's get um, Ben in here. All right, let's get Ben. All right. And then we'll get Vibe. So Ben, you good? All right, let's go. Hey. What's up, Ben? Hey, what's up, Tariq? I'm good. Uh, How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah, man, I've been keeping up with you for a minute, and um, I've heard you, you know, put us up on game about tethers and uh, coons. So um, I do want to get your perspective of uh, FBAs who are biracial, right? Uh, specifically those who kind of play both sides, right? Um, for example, um, there, there are times when it's cool to be black, and sometimes it's not so cool to be black. And, you know, so you got some biracial folks who are FBA, you know what I mean? But they play, they kind of do the chameleon thing. And that's kind of what Kamala Harris is being accused of right now, right? So she panders to, to one audience, right? Uh, if it's, uh, you know, you follow what I'm saying, right? No, see, Kamala's different. Kamala's way different. Because yeah. Kamala ain't FBA okay. at all. No FBA right. in her, so she ain't a part of the lineage whatsoever. She has nothing to do with our lineage. Now, a foundation of okay. Black America might be biracial. Here's the thing. They're forced to have to deal with their FBA identity because they're not accepted in white society, no matter how hard they try. White society reminds them, you ain't white. So, and biracial is not a recognized racial category. That shit ain't recognized politically or socially. You get around white circles, you're treated like a Negro. Not only that, the biracials are treated with more vitriol because they want to make sure that they sneak in no black genes. So they really keep an eye on the biracial black people, especially those who can kind of sort of almost pass. So we got to understand that game. See, this is another thing, family. This is another thing. You got to understand how the white supremacists and white society think. They don't want to be infiltrated, not with black genes. And not, not only that, black people who can pass and be double agents because they know how dangerous that is. See, white supremacy is all about them being on code with each other and them being able to keep secrets and information that black folks are not supposed to be privy to. That's a, another secret to their power. Keeping information away from us, valuable information. Neely Fuller talks about this. So they're hypersensitive about two types of people um, who have proximity to black folks, um, either biracial people who can pass. They're real funny style about them. They're hypersensitive about them. That's why Meghan Markle, they treat her the way they treat her. 
by Megan Markle, you know, on, on a good day, she can almost pass, but they are hypersensitive about her. They treat her um, worse than any other Negro because they don't want her sneaking in them black jeans. That's why they're going through so much hell with her, with the royal family. The second type of person they have an issue with, a white person who could have been adopted by a black person. They really funny style about that. That's why they don't like white kids getting adopted by black people. Um, even black people who are nannies to white kids, they like, they prefer foreign nannies. That's why if you go to New York, you'll see a bunch of foreign nannies running around with them white kids. They don't like them FBA families running around with them white kids. They don't want them indoctrinating them because we put that game in them and have them coming back telling us secrets. The, the foreigners won't do that. That's why the, they don't like black kids or uh, white kids being adopted by black families because you'll indoctrinate that kid to go get some secrets and bring it back. That white kid will have loyalty to the black family. That's why you hear stories about black people who adopt white kids or black men who marry into a, a family where there's a white child. And if they're out with that white child, black man or black woman, if they got a white stepchild or a white adoptive child, the police will stop them. Have y'all heard stories about that? You've heard stories about black people with adopted white kids or black people who got white stepkids and they're out by themselves with them white stepkids, the police will come up to them like, hey, is everything okay? Or people will call the police on them. They're very sensitive about that. Extremely. Now, but we're not supposed to be sensitive about them doing the same because that's what they do with adopted black kids. When they adopt black kids, they're, they're grooming a damn double agent. So they can send them among us to bring back information and to infiltrate us. You see, it's a real interesting dynamic. I'm going to talk about this in my next book. I'm working on another book, a follow-up to FBA Race Beta. You dig? Let's get Ahmed in the building. Mr. Ahmed, what's up, nicety girl? I see you down there, beloved. Ahmed, what's up, brother? Ahmed, are you good? All right, y'all start raising your hand if you're not ready to speak. Ahmed, you ready to speak? Unmute your microphone, brother. All right, let's get um crew. Let's get crew in here. Yo, what's up, bro, Tyreek? I'm good, crew. How are you, man? I'm good. Uh, I was going to go back to what the, um, I guess he was former soldier or whatever said. Uh, keep your power tools with you. You know, it's uh, it's that time, you know, election Ooh. time, like you said. So uh, instead of people going to day parties and whatnot, get your friends together and go to the range. Learn yeah. something. But instead of getting the rims and the sound, go get some power tools. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I saw a video of a little white girl who looked like she was about six years old. They had her at a gun range. She had two Glocks shooting two Glocks, like a six-year-old white girl while they're sending their children and their daughters to shoot Glocks, they got our kids out here damn twerking. You see? We better get this thing right. Vibe, hop on, man. What's up, Flex? How you I'm doing, good, brother? Vibe, what's on your mind, sir? I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Hey, I have something to say because Kamala, I'm out here in California. You know, I have four generations yes. out here. And I'm about to be honest, man. This immigration thing is, is real horrible to us, like real horrible. And 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 another four years, 15 million more, 20 million more illegal immigrants coming over here doing the most ignorant, foolish things that they've been yeah. doing. You know, I'm, I live in Rancho. I live in a, a Riverside ca County out here in yeah. Rancho. And they're doing some grimy stuff to black businesses out here, brother. They have a whole strip, like a strip where it was a lot of black businesses like five years ago. They raising their taxes. They're raising all type of like, all type of taxes and money. Uh, uh, so, 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 uh, so, sorry about it's that, good. brother. They, they, they passed me. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of black businesses are suffering and they raising taxes on them. Now they got to close oh, down. Yeah. But the Latino yeah. shops that just opened like a year ago, they let exactly. it thrive. No taxes getting, it's some weird stuff going on out here, brother. And, 
and in Rancho, they had a cool black. It, it's still a lot of blacks out here that got money and all that nice communities and everything. But man, how they doing the black businesses out here in California, man? And I'm seeing this. I know you've been talking about it, but now I'm seeing this like through through my eye contact. Now I'm actually seeing oh, yeah. it like. And I was talking to the brother. He he was thriving for a minute. He was like, I used to always support him. He had a, a burger uh, spot. It's a burger spot, and it's a few other spots of black-owned businesses out here in Rancho. And shoot, two of them got to close down now because they raised the tax. They raised a uh, tax hike oh, yeah. on them. And but the other, the Latinos, they could thrive. They that that's some bull crap, man. I hate that Real stuff. Talk. So that's this whole Kamala nonsense. People better sh- shut that off, man, because I'm not feeling her at all. Not even my family. And some of my family is hardcore Democrats, and they looking like, nah, this immigration thing is is not cool because they're looking at it and they see it. You know, my mother just told me in Fontana, it's another black business closing down because they hiking up their taxes. It's yeah. like, bro, this is some yeah. bull. So that's why. Thank say, you brother. so much, man. Yeah, my man is making a point, man. I, I, this is what we've been saying out here in California. All these Democrats and all that minority coalition family we us black business owners are targeted out here like it ain't nobody's business they do grimy stuff to us out here man i'm telling you from experience we're my la people man remember man if just a few years ago you could drive down crenshaw you would you would have the brothers selling barbecue on the streets i go down there and get me a barbecue plate all the time bean pies all that stuff gone gone the brothers are gone they done permitted them up out of there and you see a bunch of mexicans on there now who clearly ain't got the right permits these people look like they just got here across the border there's no way they got all of those wild permits together that damn fast they just don't target them like that those brothers be out there man they were slinging them barbecue sandwiches i would be out there almost every other day getting something you don't see none of them out there now and um, our good brothers at Redstone Firearms, they were playing the whole um, permit rent hike thing on them. And basically they had to close down or they're closing down and they're, they're moving out of state. My daughter's mother, she had a hair salon. And they were playing that game with her over there in Inglewood, raising the, the property rent on the salon, running the black folks out. She, she had to move. She moved out of state. You there? They, they're running a number on us out here, not us at the museum. And the museum, I, we were thriving. We were packing that thing out every damn weekend. Then they hit us with some weird special permits that we had to get. So we couldn't have our events on a regular basis. And we're still, it's been like a year. And we've still been fighting to get the, the correct permits, man. They're running us in circles with this stuff. You dig? So, out, man, we don't owe the Democrats a damn thing. And all of the, the money that's earmarked, that's supposed to go. Because with museums, our business is unique. It's an educational institution and a museum. So there's all types of money earmarked for that, that we're supposed to get, that we are not getting because they got tethers and immigrants and gatekeepers getting that money and specifically denying us access to it. And this is some Democrat stuff. You understand? We don't owe them nothing. Nothing. Let me get Sir Major in the building. Sir Major in the building. What's up, Sir Major? Sir Major, where you at, brother? Hey, what's up, brother Tariq? I just wanted to uh, drop in real quick and let you know that a gentleman you had on the stage actually was the guy that went viral for calling those black kids uh, the N-word. Uh, so you had him on stage. You didn't know who he was, but that's who he was. What was the screen? What was the screen name? I, I got to get the name again. I got to get the screen. But he was before the uh, the one guy who, uh, I'll get you the name. But yeah, you had him on. He, he was the guy that went viral recently. Oh, wow. And okay. then, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I was trying to hit you up in the back channel. And then really quickly, the three individuals that were in Virginia City, I don't know if you saw the video, but we uh, made that go viral. Oh, yeah, uh, they got arrested, right? Yeah, they got arrested, man. So, uh, yeah, they got arrested. And so thanks to the FBA family and everyone in the space who talked about it, tweeted about it, and uh, shared the story, those folks, uh, y'all y'all put real pressure uh, on, on the city officials and county officials to do some about that. So shout out to that. Absolutely. Yes, indeed, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I heard they did get arrested. 
which is good because, yeah, the, man, that was such a blatant damn hate crime they were engaging in, talking about lynching this brother and he up here crying. So, yeah, that that's an interesting dynamic right there. So I want to see how that's going to go with that case. All right. How many folks? We got a lot of people in here still. Shout out to everybody in here. I'm going to take, give one more good call. Let me get one more good call. Raise your hand if you want to get on. Let's get one more good call, ladies and gentlemen. One more. Matro, I tried to get you on, brother. You didn't say nothing, right? Matro, hop on. Let's try again. You're up there in Canada. Matro, hop on. All right, Matro. Start speaking, my dude. Where you at, Matro? All right, don't raise your hand and... Okay, yo, your phone is janky. All right. Let me see. Let me get some more folks in here. Let me get one more good call in here. All right, let's get, um, who's this, Val Dabney? Matro, you trying to get on, man? What you trying to do, man? All right, Val, what's up, Val? You want to unmute your mic, Val? Val, I heard you. You went back out. What's up, Val? Are you being kidnapped, Val? <laughs> Val, has somebody abducted you? Val's dude must have walked in right when she was on. He's one of them niggas who don't play that. Val, is that you? No. Oh. I think Val might be in danger. Val, do we need to find a location on you, dear? Uh, Val, Val, talk to me. Val, what's going on, beloved? Val, I want to make sure you're cool now. Val, give us a thumbs up if everything is cool. All right. Because I don't want no abuse going on because sometimes y'all be getting on real late and y'all be listening to me while you're in your bedroom and your dude comes home from that Amazon night shift and um, he um, <laughs> hears a man's voice and then gets to smacking up on you. Yeah. So Val, you want to say something? want to make sure you're good. You all right over there, Val? Val, get back on. Now I'm, I'm concerned with you. No, come on, Val. Hold on. Wait, wait. I got... Hold on. Val, I got some footage from Val's home. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. wait. Damn, man. What the fuck you doing in there, huh? That ain't what you're supposed to sing. Now, you know better than that. You know you got to sing this motherfucker the way I told you to, right? God damn, man. How many motherfucking times I got to tell you? You gonna sing this song, you got to sing this motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, so, Val, everything good? <laughs> You good over there, Val? All right. Get out of here, Val. All right. Call a hotline if something happens to you. All right. <laughs> anyway, man, let me get up out of here because now we got abuse victims calling up and I don't want I don't want to be an accessory to none of that stuff. But family, go to microphonecheck.com for the movie microphone check. And the updated version will be out next week. Go to rootworkstyle.com to get the rootwork deodorant, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Hidden History Museum, ladies and gentlemen. Contribute to the Hidden History Museum and get the children's book, Hidden Heroes.